A new magenta pigment has been discovered. But first, let's have a look at the fascinating component known as a chromophore. In the meantime, let's make some chronacridone red magenta PV19 that looks quite similar in its dry state to the images I've seen of the new pigment. What exactly is a chromophore and why is it pivotal in the creation of new and stunning colours? In chemistry, a chromophore is the part of a molecule responsible for its colour. The name comes from the Greek words chroma, meaning colour, and phoros, meaning bearer. These are the components within a molecule that absorb light at visible wavelengths, from about 380 to 740 nanometers. When a chromophore absorbs light, it absorbs specific wavelengths and reflects others. It's this absorption and reflection that determine what color your eyes perceive. Different chromophores absorb light differently based on their structure, which is why we see a wide range of colors in the world around us. A well-known example of a chromophore is chlorophyll, the substance that makes our leaves look green for us. So these absorb mostly blue and red wavelengths uh, and reflect the green back to us. Now let's talk about the groundbreaking discovery in the realm of chromophores. Traditionally, elements like chromium were known in their more common oxidation states to contribute to color in minerals and synthetic materials. However, recent research has unveiled something truly exciting about chromium in its divalent state, or CR2+. Well, what that is, um, unlike its more stable trivalent state, this version of chromium, CR2+, is rare in natural environments on Earth, but it has been found in extraterrestrial minerals. A week ago, a paper was released uh, by Oregon State University uh, from Mass Subramanian, the professor you know might know of Yinmin Blue. They synthesized CR2+, and interestingly, it shares some chemical properties with MN3+, a known chromophore in the pigment Yinmin Blue. Both CR2 plus and MN3 plus have similar electron configurations and structural distortions that affect the color. In this case, magenta. Using high temperature synthesis methods under reduced oxygen conditions, wow, uh, the researchers have successfully incorporated CR2 plus into a compound with calcium, magnesium, silicon, and oxygen, forming crystals that display an intense magenta color. This new pigment is based on the formula, well, this one, and it varies shades of magenta depending on the magnesium content. Calcium, silicon, oxygen, under high temperatures, that might remind you of Egyptian blue. Which is correct, the researchers have replaced divalent copper in Egyptian blue with divalent chromium, leading to this magenta. So based on the very first synthetic pigment, or one of the first that we know of, we now have the latest one, this beautiful magenta pigment. A quote from Professor Subramanian uh, from the paper, most of the magenta colored pigments used today are organic chemicals and suffer from stability issues when exposed to ultraviolet rays and heat from the sun because they can break down organic chemical bonds. Inorganic magenta pigments are rare and most require a significant amount of cobalt salts that are hazardous to both humans and the environment. This discovery isn't just a scientific achievement. It opens up new avenues for artists and industries to explore novel pigments that are both vibrant and durable and, you know, non-toxic. The potential to customize these pigments for different applications could transform how we use color in art design and beyond. So, a breakthrough in pigment science. So, hopefully you liked this video and the information given. Uh, hopefully everything was correct, pronounced correct, this is kind of uh, a niche within a niche and a niche within that and I'm not very familiar with the chemical part of it, hopefully I uh, explained everything in a way that is correct, if not, please leave a comment down below correcting me uh, if you like this or if you have any questions, also leave a comment down below give this video a like, if you don't already please give my channel a follow if you like pigments colours and handmade paint see you next time